Hello, you all. First, I want to thank God for blessing us all. Let's see another day that wasn't promised to us. I want to thank God for all His grace and all His mercy that we're alive today. And I meant to come on here last week telling my testimony. But, you know, I've been busy doing a lot of stuff. But I just thought about it. I just want to pray that this video touched someone heart tonight um last wednesday our church went out of town for two days but i only went there for one day but before i left my house that wednesday um to go to church my son was sleeping in his room and i was getting ready for church every time i leave my house i always say a prayer and i always pray with my child so i went into his room and got my oil and covered him in the blood of Jesus. And as soon as I prayed over him, his eyes opened just that fast. So I told him that he would play his game while I'm gone. So as he was hooking his game up in his room, he said, Mama, the game not working in my room. It keeps shutting off. I said, well, look, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I got to get ready for church. So he came in my room and asked to use my phone. So I gave the phone to him. So he on the phone call on Xbox company trying to figure out what's wrong with his game. So I noticed that he brought the game out of his room and brought it to the living room and plugged it in. And the game started working fine. So he came in my room and said, Mama, something wrong with the plug in the room. I said, look, I'm not worried about no plug in the room. I don't worry about getting to church. So... After I got myself together, one of my sister Christ came and picked me up. And as I left out my door, I always covered my house in the blood of Jesus and asked God to protect my home while I'm gone and watch my child while I'm gone. So it's about, I say about 8 o'clock. My phone kept on ringing. And, you know, I'm like, this number, don't, I don't know this number. But I know the number God said answer the phone. So I answered the phone, and my son said, Mama. The apartment complex is on fire. I said, on fire? I said, oh, Lord, the devil is alive. I said, Lord, please give me a peace of mind. The devil is alive. I come against it in the name of Jesus. So he said, it's two or three doors down from our apartment caught on fire. So I'm, like, trying to figure out what's going on. So I finally talked to the neighbor on the phone. She said, somebody down from us, apartment caught on fire. So to find out. It never even much reached our section. It stopped before it got to my home. So the whole point that I'm trying to tell you all is that God allowed me to go in the room, wake my son up, because he could have been in the house, the apartment, and could have died. God is good. What if I would have been disobedient to God? What if I didn't go in the room and pray over him while I left out my door and came home, my son could have been dead. Now, you can't tell me God ain't good. God allowed him to say that something was wrong in his room. I told him, I said, God told you, no, sorry. God allowed you to get out that room. Because nothing was wrong with the plug in the room. God allowed him to get out the room. Because when the people came banging on the door, that got him out the house when I wasn't here. He could have been in his room. But God allowed him to come in the living room because God, God already see trouble ahead of us. God already knew something was about to happen. So he took my child out the room, thank you, Jesus, out the room and brought him to the living room and got him out the house. See, God knows what he's doing. And you want to know why I praise God the way I do? Because God has been good to me. My child could have been dead and gone. But the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, I pray with my child each and every day. I pray with my home each and every day. So he in his room right now, the game plugged in. I said, I thought you said the plug don't work in the room. Oh, it's working now. I said, that's God who took you out the room last week. God took you out that room. So this is the reason why I praise God the way I do. God has been too good to me. And I be obedient to God. And people walking around here being disobedient. What if I didn't go pray with my child? What if I didn't do what God told me to do? And I come home. My child dead. But the devil is a lie. He would not help me. 
He would not have my child and he would not have my family. I am covered in the blood of Jesus. You cover your house in the blood of Jesus. You cover your kids in the blood of Jesus. My pastor spoke about this all the time. Pray before you leave. Cover yourself in the blood. Cover your children in the blood. You tell that devil, get out your children. You tell that devil, get out your mama, your daddy, your family, whoever. In the name of Jesus. You got to open your mouth and speak it. And I spoke it. You not going to come in my house. This is my house. The fire you must touch my house. It's stopped in the middle. Because this house is already covered in the blood of Jesus. That's the why I praise God the way I do. Because I've been healed. I've been delivered. I've been set free of all my sins. And they say I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm crazy for the Lord. Because God has been too good to me. The devil trying to take me out, but he can't touch me. Because no weapons formed against me shall prosper. I belong to God. I will never belong to the devil. And I will continue to spread the word of God throughout this world until God come back and get his brides. So I just pray that this video touched someone heart because this is one of my testimonies. I have another one happen last week. You can't tell what God don't do and what he can't do. Start speaking blessings upon yourself and see how God work in your life. But you got to believe like the pastor say in church, you got to believe. How can you not, you ain't going to receive it if you don't believe it. I believe. I'm going to receive my turnaround. I'm going to receive every bit of it. I'll be back on here in three days telling you my testimony, how God has favored me. And he can do the same for you. But you got to let go of them people that's hindering your blessings in your life. These men that God did attain in your life. These women that God did put in your life. People worship these other gods. But can't worship the, the real God. You're putting money before God. You're putting other men and women before God. You're putting all this stuff before God. And you wonder why you in hell right now. You wonder why you can't worship the God, God the way you do. Because them devil's in your way. You don't want to let go of what God already told you to put down. And you wonder why you're going through hell in your life. That's what I meant to say. Because you don't want to listen. You don't want to obey. But you can, you can obey man, but you can't obey God. And you wonder why you're going through stuff in your life right now for being disobedient. So may God bless you all. I just pray this video touch you. Be blessed.